Hi, welcome back. I just wanted to walk you guys through a couple little things that you need to look at when you go through Google Classroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen record now and show you guys some things that you can expect to go through each day on Google Classroom. All right, so I created an example class because I'm not allowed to post anything to your guys' classroom yet because I'm doing it this weekend. Um, we're not allowed to post anything until Monday. So I created an example class for you guys to see what this is going to look like. Yours will be in your normal Google Classroom. So um, I want you guys to get used to clicking on the classwork tab here. I know a lot of you guys want to look at the stream. Um, but the classwork tab has everything organized much neater um, and that's what I would like you to look at. So all of you guys, world or U.S. history, is going to have a continuous learning resource um, kind of unit. And uh, within that unit, there are some resources there that I do need you guys to look at um, on a daily basis. Um, etc. So I kind of made this as an example um, as for U.S. history. So every day when you guys log into Google Classroom, I need you guys to go look at the agenda. Okay, so I would click that and the agenda is going to be on Google Slides. So you would go look up the daily agenda and you can see for Monday, March 30th, um, you need to first click here for the attendance check-in for the day. So if I click there, you're going to see there's a link and um, it brings me to the student check-in. So this is just for me to see um, like a way to connect with you and to for you to check in with me, um, kind of see what you guys have been up to, and then also a way for me to see who's looking at Google Classroom and who's not looking at Google Classroom. So every single day you will do this. Um, you'll put your last name, your first name, your hour. This one was like, how are you feeling today? Um, and then I have a couple optional questions and then you'll click submit. This looks exactly the same for world and US history. I'm just using the same one for both of my hours. Um, and yeah, so you guys will do this each day, click submit, then I go back to look at the agenda. Um, and then I'm gonna go see what my assignments are. So I can see I need to go to Google Classroom and listen to the video instructions for today. Um, and then start going on my U.S. history activity. And then the reminders, um, you know, I have like make sure you turn all the Woodstock items in for Google Classroom. I've already graded that um, U.S. or yeah, U.S. history, but um, world history kids, you guys can just ignore that. You guys will have your own. So this is just U.S. world history kiddos. You guys will have your own daily agenda, but it looks very similar to this. So after you've looked at the daily agenda, um, I'm going to go back to Google Classroom here, and um, you can see some other things that you guys need to look at. Um, I have the U.S. History schedule for week one. World History, you guys will have yours too. So you guys can see week one, this is what's getting accomplished. You can see what's happening Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We kind of have it spaced out for you. So World History, yours looks similar. It just has different information on it. Um, so U.S. History, you can see there's a choice board project that you guys are getting started on. It looks like I need to watch the 70s intro um, and look at the choice board instructions, stuff like that. So um, that is your weekly agenda. That will be posted every either Sunday or Monday night so you guys can see what's going to go on throughout the week. Um, something else that you guys need to look at in your continuous learning resources is my Zoom links and office hours. This is posted to Google Classroom and it was also sent to you and your parents in an email, but this is just a PDF of my Zoom link and office hours. Each hour has a different PDF. So like this is second hour US history, so I just pulled that from there. But third hour has a separate PDF, fourth, fifth, sixth, etc. Um, all has a different PDF because the links are different for this first one. Um, so you can see when my office hours are on Monday, what second hour specific hour is, and then the uh, morning and afternoon office hours, Tuesday through Friday, and the links for those Zoom classes. So that will be how you access um, my Zoom meeting um, with these links, and then you can see the times that I am available through there. So those are just some resources that you guys need to be aware of, but daily, you need to look at the daily agenda. You need to go do the check-in um, on the daily agenda. And then you see you have the weekly schedule here. And if I was U.S. History, I know I have that choice board project. So I'm going to go down and I know we're starting the 1970s. And here's that choice board project. I'd look at the instructions I'd get going on the project. World History Years looks very similar, except you guys are starting with the Russian Revolution. But all of your resources basically look exactly the same. They just say World History and obviously they have information pertaining to the world history classes. So hopefully that made sense. The biggest thing I need you guys to remember, look at classwork each day, 
Um, and you guys need to go do that daily agenda check-in so I can see who is looking at Google Classroom and who's not necessarily getting on Google Classroom. Um, but yeah, and then you look at your weekly schedule and then um, get going on your other stuff. And once again, you can find my Zoom links and office hours here. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, remember you can um, contact me during my office hours time. Second hour can contact me during this time. Um, and then obviously these are my other hour, office hours Tuesday through Friday. So hope all goes well. You guys let me know if you have any questions. All right, so hopefully that all made sense. Um, remember, if you ever need to contact me, you can email me and I'll put my email um, in the video here um, or you can contact me through Twitter or Instagram. Either one of those work as well, too. So have a wonderful first week of school. Um, can't wait to start interacting and seeing all you guys.